Last year I did a video on this waste oil burner that I made and uh, it was kind of a quick video I didn't have all the details worked out and um, I didn't have have it finalized or have any of the finishing touches on it so I just want to go through a little bit more of what I did and how it works a couple things um, for the record this shop is about 30 by 30 it is insulated um, but not much and I live in New York State so it's pretty cold um, got 12 foot ceilings and there's about six inches of insulation in the ceiling and three and a half in the wall so not all that much for New York standards so it's cold this morning I think the thermometer is reading like 40 although it's like 35 outside so I haven't run this all night so it's actually warmer in he here just because it's insulated I think um, what I've got is these two 55 gallon drums that are on a shelf so they're above the level of the burner and um, they're just tied in so that I can open both valves and run them into the the line that goes back behind here and then over to the stove so I've just got ball valves on here <coughs> and ball, a ball valve on here to control the flow and then I've got this clear piece of plastic here so I can see my um, my oil now one thing I want to mention this is mostly used motor oil and um, used transmission fluid um, one thing I found I had to do and I think it's mostly because of the diameter pipe I u chose to use which is 3 8 that's what the copper is going in um, I ended up um, spiking the oil with diesel fuel about one to four so I've got maybe 25 gallons of oil in there right now so you know there's about five gallons of diesel fuel in there which um, you know really isn't that much and it's not that expensive considering the rest of it's free um, but I found that thin the oil out and it helped bring the octane level up enough to make it burn oil um, so over here what I've got this is a um, Dayton 50 CFM blower. A lot of things I found on the videos online and stuff, there's not very many specifics about what, how much uh, CFM of a blower you need. A lot of people use hair dryers and then they go to something else later and then never really find out what they used. Um, this is about 50 bucks on eBay. Um, nice thing is it's got this flap that you can swing over the opening and it will change how much air is coming in so you can kind of fine tune that to fit uh, without having to have a rheostat or a speed control on it. Um, and I've got what I've got here going on is a switch that just turns the blower on and then I've also got a timer so what I do when I turn this thing off I'll turn the switch off turn the timer on so the blower stays on and then I can turn my oil drip off and as the thing fuels down the blower continues to run and I can just walk out of the building and not have to worry about it shutting off um, once the oil runs out in 10 minutes or so, the blower will shut off after like 20 and it just helps kind of cool down the whole unit. Um, and then I've just got like a heat shield here just to keep all my electronics and stuff cooler. Inside, which I'll need to get a light for. <clears throat> Inside, same thing as my other video if you saw it. Um, I played around with a few different um, design um, setups for my bowl and stuff I had it tilted at one point um, you know just kinda angled up like this that worked pretty good but it wasn't really necessary once I got the diesel in the oil um, I found I got a good enough burn with it just being flat like that and it also ended up burning out the bottom of my pot because um, you didn't have the fire brick to um, soak up the heat and then over here I've just got a box fan kind of pointed at the side to help push some of the heat into the room so that's pretty much it um, if you watch my other video it kind of explains how the copper goes inside the black iron pipe and um, then drips out on the inside um, pretty much like everybody else's videos on the drip feed style oil furnace 
Again, I've got, I think that's tiki oil that I'm using to light it right now. You can use diesel, you can use kerosene, tiki, torch oil, whatever you have, whatever works. Probably use lighter fluid, all of that stuff anymore, hardly lights. So. so anyways, that's the deal. I've just got uh, my bulk tanks that I put the oil in or whatever I'm going to burn. I know some people have been able to use french fry oil. I don't have that available to me, so I use um, motor oil. And then um, this is the unit. So. I'll get this fired up and then maybe in half an hour or whatever I'll I'll uh, open it up, show you what it looks like and we'll see what the temperature is has come up to. But I'm not going to show lighting it, I showed that in my other video and it kind of takes two hands. So, Okay so it's been about half an hour, this thing is cooking, that's what she looks like inside. See, I got the valve like only a quarter of the way open. It's kind of neat. This kind of acts as a gauge. You can see kind of where the oil is right here. And as you close the valve, this will get further and further up. And as you open the valve, this will come back down to here. So you can almost use it as a gauge. And eventually, I'll probably put some paint marks or something on this so I can tell where it's good to run it at. This works pretty good for me. Um, I've got my blower gate all the way open. Uh, if you wanted more fire, more flame than that, basically what happens is if I open this up more, I can get a bigger fire, but I get a lot of smoke because I don't have enough air. So this is about the max I can I can run this with this blower because I don't have any more air coming out of it. And that works for me. Um, you know, like I said, this is a 30 by 30 garage with a 12 foot ceiling, and um, Oh, I've got the, I moved the thermometer out in the middle of the room, and let's see if I can get it so you can see it there. It's about a little over 50 right now. Um, it's been running for about half an hour. So, you know, I had this thing running for like two hours last night, and it was 65 in here, and I was down to my shirt sleeves because I was sweating. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to have any problem in the middle of winter keeping up. So, and a lot of that's largely the fact that the walls are insulated, but the point is it works and it's cheap heat. So, um, I think that was about it. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to say earlier is I found too that you have to clean that um, burn pot out uh, after each use. It gets some ash in it and stuff, and uh, it just makes it work a lot better if you bang it out before you light the next fire. So. I think that's about uh, about it. Hope you enjoyed the video.